that. But that's that's, that's really weird. We shouldn't. That, that's a weird way to explain it. It shouldn't that's, be. That's medium difficulty. You get my point. <laughs> this is this is not a six point explanation. <laughs> No, is this just six points? Yeah, yeah, six points. Yeah, it should just be some direct substitution here. There's something that is, that I'm missing. I'll, I'll show this now. Let's see what we are missing. But if you are, if you get stuck, maybe in an exam, but it's just to write something, right? That so what I would do is to show that this is divisible by six. If I get stuck, is it will suffice. Suffice means is, is enough, right? To show that it is divisible by two and three. Are you listening? Hey, let's sit down Can I finish first? Yeah. It's divisible by 3 because it's clear from here. Now, how do we show it's divisible by 2? These are even. This is even. These two are odd, odd. When k is odd. And when k is even, each of them is even too. So everything is even. But when k is odd, this is odd, and this is odd. The sum will be even. This is even. This is even. Then everything is even. OK? But we shouldn't have gone through that. Let's see what we are missing. <laughs> we shouldn't need to go through that. So let's see where the inductive hypothesis is applied. So there is need for some substitution that we are not looking at. Inductive step, we write that. Oh my god. We wrote this line at the point. To split it into k plus 5 and 2k plus 1. That was the second attempt. Remember this? Okay, so then the expansion was down like that. Oh, God. So either, you see, either k or k plus 1 is even. So actually, we are right. So it's not a direct substitution indeed. We are right. So we did use that. So we're right, I think. Yeah. So in that case, so the idea is to bring out some uh, even stuff. So let, let me explain with this again. Remember what we did here to split it into two? So that will be done. Then the expansion will not be done uh, like we, do, we don't break it up like fully. Okay? And once that happens, this is written separately. What about this one? Oh, okay. This and this gives k plus that. That would be k plus one, isn't it? Something is missing. No, 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 no. This together expanded, added to this gives that. Okay. Then another. Okay. So equation two. Either k or k plus one is even. Yes, we know that. Then this product is divisible, is divisible by two. So this is divisible by two. Okay. Then this is two. Then everything here is divisible by six. But what about this part? From inductive hypothesis, we know something about here. K into k plus five is six m. That's it. My God. We're on the right track. Then we thought, no, it doesn't have to look this way. Do you understand the proof? Let's, 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 the lights? Okay. Should I just explain with this? Or we write it, we break it down properly on the board? Guys, talk to me. We need to go. Talk to me. Two minutes. Explain here. Okay. So, <clears throat> this, we wrote this earlier by breaking this into two. Where is that again? Here. So we have k squared plus five. Remember, I wrote it I wrote like in this form here before. So if you pick k squared plus five, you have one left. k squared plus five. Remember, this is six, right? Then there will be two k plus one left. So there are two brackets. Then everything is now being multiplied by k plus 1. So you are more or less taking this as a and this as b. Right? So then in the next expansion, you are having k multiplies this. So you have k into k squared plus 5. Then you have k 
multiplies the second one, that's this, lab, this one. So if k multiplies the second one, you have k into bracket 2k plus 1. Then 5, no, 1 will multiply them also. So if 1 multiplies, wait, 1 multiplies this one, you have k squared plus 5 times 1. Then 1 will multiply this, you have k, no, 1 times 2k plus 1. Do you get my point? Okay, so now, if you look at this, you have k squared plus 5, right? Then you have, instead of 4, you have this one here. This is 1, this is 2. Now these two are the common factor. Can you see? They have the common factor. So if 2k plus 1 is factorized out, you are left with what? k plus 1. So this and this gives this. So that's why you have three terms. So this is the first one, this is the second one, and this is the third one. So what we did earlier was to write in this way, but we end up expanding everything again, rather than consider this. That was why we couldn't think about it. Now, what happens here is that this remains this. Now, this is 2k squared, right? Plus 1k squared, that's 3k squared. When you expand this, you're going to have 3k, which is here. Then you're going to have 6 plus 1, which is here. So, then we can factorize this again. 3 is common, 3 is taken out. You're left with k squared plus uh, k plus 2, right? Now, k squared plus k is now factorized in here. You still have your plus 2. Now, what do we need to do with this? This, from inductive hypothesis, is 6m. So we, have come, we already know that this is a multiple of 6. We just need to establish that this is a multiple of 6. Okay? Now, to establish that this is a multiple of 6, what do we know about this? This must be even. When k is odd, this is odd and this is even, their product is even. When k is even, this is even, this is odd, their product is also even. Right? So this is always even, which means 2 can be taken out of this bracket, because this is even, this is even. So when 2 comes out to meet this, that is 6 again. And this is already in terms of 6, then everything 6 can be factorized. And that's what they did here. Okay? So I would rather it is written as, because if we say this is even, then write everything here as 3 times 2 brackets some integer, maybe w, rather than, this, this last part is a bit confusing. So I expect the last part to look this way. Let's focus here, sorry, then I'll let you go. The last part should look this way. k into k squared plus 5, right? Plus 3 into k, k plus 1 plus 2, right? So from here, don't bother about that, from here k into k plus 1 is even either when k is odd or k is even. You see, my focus is on k, not k plus 1. Because whatever happens to k affects k plus 1 also, right? If k is odd, k plus 1 is even. If k is even, k plus 1 is odd. So either way, it is product of odd and even. So it is always even. So in that case, I can write k into k plus 1 as 2w for some integer w. So I would expect that instead of this long thing. So with this, then you can now say this step now becomes uh, 6m. This is from the inductive hypothesis. 3 into bracket. 2w plus 2. Okay? 6m, 3 times 2w plus 1. So 6 comes out of everything. And that solves what we need to do. So you can see the inductive hypothesis is used. You know, I knew something, this, this question would be problematic. You know why? It's simple induction that we do within few lines. 
and yet it was labeled medium level of difficulty. So I was guessing, could it be an error? There's no way I'm gonna see this in the hotel. <laughs> yeah, because it's confusing, like how would you even think to that point? And that's the purpose of revision, a class like this. So you come up with something, you get stuck at the point and you know. Anyway, I'll see you on Monday. Hi. Bye, sir. Yes, sir. Can we discuss what to do about the university? Dude, I'm defending my system one day. Until then, I can't talk about anything. Okay, so talk to me from Tuesday. Oh no.